A modal page encourages users to complete a self-contained task that cannot be navigated away from until the task is completed or cancelled. A modal page can be any of the page types supported by Xamarin Forms. To display a modal page the application will push it onto the modal stack, where it will become the active page. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech in audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms modal page. 2. Disable the Android device back button. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. I already created two pages for this demonstration. One is the default page, which is the main page, another page I named sample page. Let's add a button and push a modal page. But before that, we need to change the app class to new navigation page. So here I added a button to call the open our modal page. Calling a modal page is similar to hierarchical navigation, but instead of using push async, we use a push modal async. So let's run the app. The sample page popped from the top of our main page. And we no longer have the navigation bar here. These is the characteristics of modal a page. To force the user to take some action. Whether that be filling up a form or tapping another button or something. The point here is that the user cannot navigate away until the task is completed or cancelled. Now how are gonna navigate back? We can add a button to our modal page and add an event to navigate it back. So here, we simply call the pop modal async method to the click event of the button. Even though we don't have a navigation bar with back button. We have the back button on the Android devices itself. On Android, the user can always return to the previous page by pressing the standard back button on the device. If the modal page requires the user to complete a self-contained task before leaving the page, the application must disable the back button. This can be accomplished by overriding the on back button pressed method on the modal page. This base dot on back button pressed method will return the user from the previous page. We can delete this line and simply return true. And this will disable the back button functionality of the device. Let's run the application again. So next. Click the back button. Look, nothing happened. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.